Hey guys, well welcome back down the River X. Uh, so I had a fantastic time on my last uh, trip, that was to Dartmoor, on the West X. Um, no, West Dart, I'm a plonker. Yeah, on the West Dart, too many X. Uh, that was a fantastic little trip. There's only a, a little day trip down there, uh, but I'm starting to put together my next uh, wild camping and fly fishing trip to Dartmoor. Uh, so I just really wanted to go down there and scout it, whereas last time, uh, last year when I did the wild camping and uh, fly fishing trip to uh, the East Dart, I was fishing blind. Uh, well, I got a bit of advice. I just had a PPI phone call. Ah! Right, so back down on the River X after uh, last weekend's trip to um, the West Dart, which is uh, amazing. Absolutely loved it. Gotta love Dartmoor. Uh, beautiful fishing over there. And it was a wreck, I think, as I mentioned. I forget what I say in my videos. But yeah, that little day trip was a wreck, ready for my next fly fishing and wild camping trip. I thought it just heard a rise there. So I'm back down the uh, River X and I've seen one fish rise. I've taken my time, I've come here, set up my rod up, eaten an apple, um, just been watching the river. I've seen one fish rise, but there's not really a hatch going on at the moment. I was hoping the mayfly uh, might be appearing, uh, but I've not seen it yet. And the weather's gonna turn, so after this weekend, the river's gonna have a little bit more flow in it, a little bit more color. So I wanted to nip down and just do a quick uh, trip down the river uh, before that happened. Right, so I'm gonna get cracking and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna start off on my homemade, uh, home tied uh, LK Caddis um, flies. Not very imaginative, I know I keep going back to it. Although I didn't use it on the West Dart, I used it as something a little bit more delicate. And I imagine when I get to this slower water, uh, higher up in the beat, I will switch to a smaller, more delicate fly. Whereas at the moment, this bit not so much, but just going up there and then further on up, it's got a lot of, well, not a lot of flow, but the water runs quite fast. So I need a fly which is very, very buoyant and also very, very visible. Um, Cause no good it just being on the surface, but I can't see the fish take it. Right, so let's get cracking. And thank you for watching guys. And again, thank you to all those who are subscribing. We're only small numbers, um, but I really do appreciate every single one of you that just subscribe and watch. So hopefully we'll get some fish. If you're watching this, I have caught some fish or have fallen in. If you're not watching this, then I've deleted it and I'm talking to myself. So we'll get fishing. Just give a leader a bit of a stretch just to get the uh, kinks out. Still got a bit of memory in that. That's better. As always, first thing. Get some floatant on, even though this is a very buoyant fly. I want it to ride on the uh, surface of the water so I can twitch it, just to agitate those trout. Oh, it's just sunk into the mud. This is nice to be able to cast, which we haven't been able to do on the Loman or the uh, or the West Dart. Can we get days where you're just not feeling it? Doing it today. Where have all the fishes gone? Oh, 
nothing rising. Can't believe they've eaten their fill. These damn ducks keep following me. Huge mayfly over there because he's flapping on the surface. Nothing is coming for it at all. No, I thought it had been taken, but it's not, it's still there. Ram fly from go. Pretty sure I've seen a brownie rise just opposite me, despite my thrashing around. Yes! Oh, it's a nice size brownie. Got there in the end, guys. Got there in the end. And it's the fish of the season so far for the River X. It's not a monster, but it's a nice sized fish. Oh, excellent. That's a little ripper. There we go guys, very, very pleased with that. That's a four sets job, he's taking that fly right down. Just turn the, uh, the evening around.
there you go, flies out with the forceps, very very nice.